Oh, hi, I'm Rayford, and thank you for joining me for some more Paragon. Ho, 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 holy crap, look at all that Christmas spirit. Yeah, so there's been, like, a ton of stuff that's changed since my last video, and actually I detailed some of those changes in said last video, which you can see on the screen right now. You can click on it, and it actually, like, I go over, that's basically my last real video on the old map with all the old everything. Since then, Paragon has been stripped to the studs, built back up and it's basically a brand new game and we're going to go ahead and play another game play a match and down some of those changes but you know first i want to go ahead and cover some of the other things uh that have happened since that patch uh patch v35 or whatever has dropped uh also known as the monolith update we've received another small update since then one of those things being this uh this festive uh bundle of skins right here actually if you have played paragon then just by logging in, you actually got one of these skins for free. Epic handed out, handed one out to each, basically everybody who was always random, whichever one you got. Sadly, I got Kalari, a character I don't play at all. So, rip. But uh, they did make these skins available for purchase. So you know, if you uh, if you're feeling festive, then you can go ahead and just pick one up if you want. You know, if you didn't get the one that you uh, that you were hoping for. But yeah, so let's uh, let's go ahead and dive into some of these really quick, and yeah, let's go ahead and dive into these. So we got the Yuletide Fang Mao. Ooh, ah, uh, look at him. He's he's the Grinch. <laughs> he's literally the Grinch because he's green, and so it's so good. Then we've got Jingle Bombs, Iggy and Scorch. Yeah, I just I love that like Scorch has <laughs> has the reindeer <laughs> antlers and like the little red nose. Oh, it's so good. Uh, then we've got old Saint Richter. <laughs> Look at him. He's so good. And like his his pole cables or whatever or Christmas lights. Oh man. That's that's actually a terrifying face though. Then well, we've got Peppermint Kalari, and this is the one that I was quote unquote blessed with. But I do like their little antennae, I guess. Are, are uh <laughs> like candy canes. And then finally we have Ugly Sweater Gadget. Yes, that's... Yep, and with like the torn, like no shoulder. Girl, aren't you cold with that midriff and these like... And the shoulders exposed? I mean, I'm just saying. Yeah. Plus, I mean, if you look in the background, you know, we've got this, uh, this wonderful light snowfall. So, that's fantastic. And then also I want to go ahead and touch on Shadow Ops Twin Blast. Mmm. Check this guy out. Holy crap. That's a rad skin. You can actually get this skin for free. I know it says it's a thousand coins, but to get it, all you have to do is play ten games of PvP. That's it. it I mean, that's nothing. And then you get this, this super fantastic skin. I mean, it's got a carabiner, so he's always prepared to, like, you know, haul additional things, maybe some snacks around. Ah, I love it. But, what else has changed? Uh, since then, we have also gotten card crafting. Yes, that's right. The card crafting system has come to Paragon. So all you gotta do is just dive into your profile right here. You can actually select uh, which of the affinities you wanna go ahead and look at. You can dismantle cards and then use some of the materials you get from those dismantled cards to craft a card that you are, that you've been seeking after. So like the Satori cloak that's eluded me for so long, I can finally just make one. I don't have to worry about RNG. It's, it's just craftable. Now, you may be asking yourself, well, how do you craft it? And that, that's a good question. I'm glad that you asked. You've got these crafting materials. Each of the affinities, Order, Intellect, Corruption, Fury, Growth, and Universal, matches up with one of these materials. So, or, so Order is Topaz, Intellect is Matrix, Corruption is Cursed Soul, Fury is Shrapnel, Growth is Algae, and Universal is Metal. All you gotta do is select, again, the affinity that you want. So, for instance, you know, Universal, I wanna go ahead and craft, say, a Sage's Ward, all I have to do is find a card that I don't want, that I've got multiples of, that I don't want. So, for instance, Bounty Stalker, I have five of you. You are good, but I only need one. So, four of you go ahead and get dismantled. So, you just click on it. It pulls up the screen. Right now, I have zero metal, as you can see right here. And it says you don't have enough metal. Get more by dismantling universal cards. You know what? That's Thanks for the tip. But, I'm going to click on Dismantle. You can select how many of the card that you want to uh to dismantle i have again i have five i'm going to dismantle four of those so i've got one it's going to give me 960 metal you hit dismantle it cool pulls up this cool little animation and you go click 
Goodbye, Bounty Stalker. And boom, 960 metal. Now I'm going to go back and find that Sage's Ward that I've been seeking after. Click on it, and it tells me, oh, I still have enough metal. Rip. Don't I? Yeah, no, I do. I need 600. So all I do is just hit the craft. It pulls up this neat animation again. You can see all the metal aligned in its proper sockets. Hit craft. It, <laughs> it does this cool animation, which is actually super rad. And then, boom, you get yourself a brand new card. Isn't that fantastic? And there you go. That's all it is. I mean, you know, you got sort of the uh, the RNG aspect of it in that it, like any card packs you get give you cards obviously that's the RNG part after that you just dismantle what you don't want and use the materials the broken husks of it to craft a card that you do want it's freaking awesome you know I, I dig it but then if you're really really down for some RNG check this out we now have loot crates and loot keys what can you get in a loot crate crate I'm glad that you asked Check this out. You can get pretty much anything. Any skin, uh, coins, reputation, and experience boosts. And I mean, quite literally, any skin. Uh, how do you get loot crates and loot keys? Loot crates you actually can get just by playing the game. Uh, at the end of matches, you have a chance to get a loot crate. And to get keys, all you got to do is get uh, to like level 5 plus with characters. And then uh, at each of their like... Their levels, you've got a chance of getting a loot key. And because they keep implementing new heroes, you've always got more chances for more keys. So, it's cool that they give you, like, this. And then you just, all you got to do is just uh, hit an open button that appears right here. It does another cool little animation. You hit stop, and then it tells you uh, what you want. I ended up opening the one crate that I had. I'll actually go ahead and pop that on the screen right now as well, so you can see what I got. wasn't that fancy that was super cool uh yeah i mean who doesn't like rewards again like this is a free thing you can do if you feel like spending real money you can absolutely you know buy go ahead and buy uh some of the crates and some of the keys and stuff so you see like you just you spend the coins that you can buy on crates and keys they've got little bundles it's just such a cute little set of uh keys and, and crates mm, so cute and then you can obviously buy like a whole bunch or just uh, a one pack so but that's enough of that. We're going to go ahead and dive into a quick game of some PvP. I'm, I don't know who we're going to select. Uh, I'm just going to you know, leave it up to fate to you know, see what our team is looking like and what the enemy team looks like. So here we go. Okay, let's see. Oof. So we've got uh, Tooth Monster, Captain Handsome, Robot Lady, whom I like a lot, me as the Lieutenant Bellica, uh, <laughs> Grim.exe, also a pretty solid choice. And then they've got uh, Angry Toad, Katniss Everdeen, uh, Twin Blast. Actually, I actually have a nickname for Twin Blast. I should come up with one. Shooty McPew Pew. I think I'm going to go with Shooty McPew Pew. Uh, also their own Captain Handsome. And uh, Robot Kitty. Fantastic. Now check out this animation. Like just this, this cool little loading screen. Now traveling to Monolith. And then it comes up with all these little tips and everything. Uh, these were here it's sort of before, they were up here in like the corner, but then it also tells you like, you know, who, kind of what character really is good for which lane. It goes through like all this whole thing. It's pretty nifty. I mean, I like it. Now it's not just like kind of a blank loading screen. So, you know, it's the little things in life. Quality of life changes. Who can say no? All right. And this is pretty much the same. So I'm going to go ahead and pick my deck. Uh, I want my Chronotonic my Shepherd's Vial, and my cast Token, and I am going to go to mid lane. Now, first and foremost, you notice it's snowing. Yeah, check out the snow and the Christmas lights. It's so cool. Uh, but also, next up <laughs> is the snowman. Hello, little snow. Wait, where's your face, dude? Dude, where's your face? No face? That's sad. 
Uh, also, jump pads. That's also a thing now. They're mostly in the bases, but there also is one on uh, in the jungle, sort of, that kind of crosses this mid lane here. But so check it out. So we got, here's our inhibitor. Then we've also got tier 2 tower, just a short jaunt. And then the tier 1 tower, it's like right on top of it. It's insane. Uh, I mean, it's so close. Hello, kitty. Hello, angry kitty and frog mad. But yeah, here's here's mid lane. You know, you got the river. Hey, man. Really? You're going to do me like that? <laughs> Hang on, I'm going to try and get some early damage on this guy. Uh, you've also noticed that, like, you can actually, like, take a lot of damage very quickly these days. And I'm going to go ahead and try and protect Captain Handsome. Oh, my. We're going to try and turn on him. Oh, oh, yeah. Nice job, guys. Oh, no, no, no. Okay. That was scary. I didn't want to die. Oh, I'm so low on mana, though. Guys, retreat. This Twin Blast. Shooting me. Pew Pew is here. Nice. Okay. Uh, all right, well. Retreat, Captain Handsome. I will save you. So <laughs> that was a quick start to this match. Uh, that's the thing. is like Now you want to get those early ganks in as quickly as you can. I'm retreating. Don't worry, buddy. I'm just trying to protect you. Uh, yeah, you want to get those early ganks in as quickly as you can. Uh, because that really helps out the entire team. Now, once again, just like before, uh, uh, anytime somebody like on the enemy team dies, it gives your team a whole bunch of experience. So getting that, uh, that early game experience can help out a lot. So we're going to go ahead and drop a mine on those guys. I'm just going to keep trying to... Uh, Kind of keep them pushed back a little bit. I don't want to like push too far because I'm weak and they can turn on me real easy. We're gonna do that. I'll be right back. But yeah, wow, that was <laughs> a quick start to the game. Oh man, let's see. I really don't want anything. I just wanted to re up my health and my mana. But, yeah, I mean, kind of early game. It's all about uh, health and mana management. I will go to left lane. But check this out. So this actually kind of showed off earlier. Uh, this is a wall of fog. So this, like, helps to separate the jungle from all the lanes. And also sort of, yeah, the jungle from all the lanes. You got some jungle minions right there. Just a little jungle camp. Don't worry. Oh, no, dude. Back it up now. Rampage, don't you do it. Um, but let's see. What else? What else? Hey. Minions. Minions. Um, oh my. Uh, movement speed, first and foremost, is just... it. Like, you move so much faster now. Um, like, just your general movement speed, period, is so much faster. Wait, defend the... Oh! Okay, they are grouping up. There is going to be some shenanigans happening. So we're going to go to mid lane. Uh, already this match is, I don't know, it's kind of crazy. Uh, where is he? Oh, wait. <laughs> nice. Good job, Chimera. Oh, 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 wait, wait, wait. Oh, somebody grabbed the river buff. So that's one of the river buffs. I'll talk more about those here in a little bit. Uh, I just want to try and get some damage in. Oh, Rampage. You're just dying once again, buddy. Oh, I'm tempted to dive you. If I had mana for it, oh, <laughs> you are dead now. Okay, I'm gonna, this is gonna suck though. Oh my, oh my. We're just gonna keep running away. What's up, Raptor? Those are also another thing in the game. Chimera, I, I can't, I, can't, I want to run to you, but I'm also so close to dead. He's just gonna shoot me in the butt and I'm gonna die. Okay, we're still alive. Twin Blast did not get us. Alright, so this is already, like, in a game that is so much faster than it was before. Like, yeah, it's so much faster than it was before. Uh, this is a much faster game than <laughs> than normal, actually. Uh, there's been a lot of early ganks. So, I'm going to go ahead and just grab this ward and a cast token. Um, on my way to mid lane... 
All right. So, first off, you notice there's a giant marble. Uh, some people call it the Guardian. You know, or, uh... uh wait, 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 not the Guardian. Um, the Traveler. <laughs> the Traveler from, uh, from Destiny, actually. Um, and, yeah, obviously, it's like, it is the Traveler, basically. But I also just call it the Marble. Dude, good job, man. And back it up, Rampage. Come on. Oh, oh, I tagged it, nice. Oh, I guess we're going to go for that gank as well. Nice. Wow, our team is just pulling ahead with the... Uh, with the kill action. Nice. So, alright, I'm gonna work on these uh, minions here a little bit. Wait. Oh, I guess I'll go right lane? Uh, okay. River buffs. There's two river buffs. There's one here and then one that spawns on the opposite side. I'm kind of looking over in its general direction right now. Um, and they provide various buffs, really. Um, so, like, then there's four of them. Oh, my. Will you guys stop? Quit it. What do we got here? We got Sparrow and, uh, oh, what's his name? Um, they provide various buffs. There's four of them. So, there's one that does, uh, gives you a speed boost. One that gives you, like, a damage over time effect, uh, to any enemies that you hit with, like, either a basic attack or an ability. Uh, there's one that puts you into the shadow plane, so it turns you into a little Kalari. And then there's one that's, uh, what's the fourth one do? Let's see, river bar. Uh, so speed boost. Um, shadow plane, damage over time. Oh, and the sparrow's in a, oh, if I had mana, dag nab it. <laughs> eh, well. I'll come up with it eventually. Jerks. Um, but yeah, so the walls of fog, getting back to that. You can't see through them, obviously. Uh, the only way really to know what's on the other side is just to walk walk on over. Ooh, Muriel. Hang on, try and help her out. You're good, girl. I got you. Don't worry, Bellic is here for you. Well, you be cool, man. Be cool. Be cool. You're not being cool. You're not being cool. Ooh, thank you. Eh, missed. I, I really need to, like, retreat now. <laughs> um, let's see. Minions, much faster attack speed. It's just insane. Um, there's also uh, the new gold buff. So that's actually right over here. He is, like, basically whenever you kill it, uh, for the next, like, 45 seconds or so, it gives you significantly increased uh, CXP gains. So, and helps out for, uh, for like, leveling up basically your card points and such, which now increase in increments of 1. Which, I mean, it's like a huge thing now. It's a bit of a difference. Listen, Sparrow, we were cool before, girl. But I'm not tolerating your shenanigans, all right? Um, let's see. Wait. Oh my. And rip. Oh uh, crap! Yeah, I was done for. So we will go ahead and make my way left lane. Minions pass. No, walking fast, minions pass, and I'm gank bound. Hey, camera, how's it going? Hope you're doing well. I'm doing okay. I got this ward here. Speaking of wards, now they just refresh on a timer, so you don't have to worry about like going back to base to uh to re up your ward charges. They just, I mean, they they do their own thing now. You don't have to worry about them too much. And I'm gonna go ahead and push up, try and do that. Oh, man. I was really hoping to, uh, to suck away some of his mana, get some of the damages in. But oh well. It is what it is. I keep pushing this lane a little bit. I think we're pretty safe right now. 
Uh, hey, hey, man. Quit it. Okay. I think he's got his ult now. I think he's level 5. But he's also a pretty bad shot. Yeah, he's level 5. Uh, let's see, let's see, let's see. There we go. Take that. Oh, new. No. Yep, he's got his ult. Nice try, dude. Oh, for, why am I so bad? <laughs> um, let's... Towers now have, like, a significant amount of health, or mana, or whatever. Um, oops, no, that's not what I wanted. I want to do this. So he knows that I can see. My allies will see where he is. Hopefully it'll keep him from uh, pushing up too much. I'm going to go ahead and just drop these minions real fast. And then we're going to back. Yeah, because we are low on health. And I have no potions or anything. And I don't want to die to this uh, shooting the pew pew. Plus we also have two points to spend. So I'm going to max out my quartz blade. Get the little benefit from that. And go back to left lane. Now don't try it. I'm on my way. Don't worry. We good. Oh, but he's got a fair amount of minions with him. This is going to suck a lot. I'm on my way. I'm on my way. I'm going to try and body block him a little bit. Uh, that's the thing is like, if you are an enemy and you are under the like uh, tower, shooting the heroes on... Uh, I up the wrong ability. Uh, shooting... The heroes underneath that, uh, that tower. So, like, if he had shot me while he was under the tower range, uh, the tower would have aggroed to him, and so that would have really sucked a lot for him. He would not have enjoyed it very much. So, um, yeah, that's why I was just trying to basically just body block him. But we're just gonna keep farming the CXP and push that. Ouch! Oh, hey, I didn't take damage. Yeah. Ah, uh, see, he did a good job of, like, body block me right there. I'm gonna try and suck away some of that mana. Oh, he is so weak. Try and, yeah, <laughs> finished him off. Worth no regrets. I'm just gonna keep shooting this, uh, this tower now. Oh, oh, well, I got minions. I got minions, okay. And take that tower. Thanks for playing. I appreciate you. It's kind of a ballsy play, going in uh, and doing the execution when he, had, uh, when he was under tower, but meh, war favors the bold. So, man, right lane is looking a little hairball. It would be a shame if uh, somebody was to roll on up in there and help clean things up. Man, somebody keeps taking these river buffs very, like, pretty consistently. Hopefully it's our team. All the way to right lane. I really hope it's our team that's taking these river buffs, because uh, that would be pretty nice. Uh, okay, let's talk raptors. So, these guys actually, like all jungle camps, including these raptors, reinforce on a set timer. Obviously, it's counting down now. Uh, raptors, there's maximum of three. Jungle camps, there's maximum of five. Actually, I'm going to go to mid lane. Um, and, the, like, basically the raptors, they hurt a lot. But they're worth a lot of card points, like a thousand. So it's actually like a whole card level. Um, so like, if you want to really help to like try and uh, gain an entire card level, that's how you do it. You want to go and try and grab those uh, those raptors early on. Um, jungle camps. Speaking of, since we were kind of just talking about them, uh, now they don't really reward as much exp to the jungler or to whoever kills the. Uh, kills the camp or the minions there. Um, instead, what they do is they oh, tag nab it. Um, they actually feed into what is known as the amber link. Yeah, there's no more harvesters. Instead, uh, the harvester icon that you see is our amber link. So the amber link actually. Ooh, I'm gonna try and <laughs> suck it, nerd. Um, the amber link is like it basically like anytime jungle minions are killed in it. Or in the jungle, really. Um, feeds into the Amberlink. And oh, I didn't know where our mid tower was down. That's bad for me. 
Oh goodness. Oh goodness. Oh goodness. Oh goodness. I don't know if I'm gonna make it. I don't know if I'm gonna make it. <laughs> but now that's gonna activate his ult, which is gonna suck for me a lot. Uh, any minions killed in the jungle, uh, they feed into the amber link, and then every two minutes or so, it spreads out its uh, its CXP to the entire team. So it behooves you to have a jungler that's active in the jungle and is killing camps and such, uh, just so that you know it helps uh, helps out the entire team really. Oh man, right lane is looking super hairy right now. Uh, wait, no, I think we're good actually. I think right lane's good. We chased them off. Great job, you two. Muriel and uh, and Greystone did a fantastic job. But now I'm going to go ahead and see if I can't make it to left lane here before this guy takes this tower. Oh, yeah, we got plenty of time. Check this. Oh, he's got a pretty big wave of minions, though. Just going to do that and a little bit of that. Crap, this is going to be bad. Crap. Yeah, there was nothing I could do. He had a huge wave of minions. Uh, so, rip. Rip left lane tower, 2016. I will love you always. Throw that behind him. Do some of that. And a little bit of this. Oh, and we got Greystone here with us. Yes, please. Oh. I did tag him. Did some damage, but not enough to kill him. Oh, I should have pushed up on his lane. Sad. But can we cut him off? Oh, <laughs> so weak. He's trying to go for uh, the river buff. This is the, uh, that black one was the damage over time river buff. Um, oh yeah, the fourth one. The fourth one is ability damage. So you have shadow plane, damage over time, speed, and ability damage. So, ooh, our graystone picked up both. Ooh. Feisty. We're going to go ahead and go right lane since we're here. Try and finish off this noob. Oh, I guess while Greystone has the aggro though, we're just going to go ahead and... Oh, good job. Nice work, man. Uh, oof. Oh, hello, Sparrow. Guys, if you could... Yeah, nice. Ah, Muriel, help. Help me. I don't know where she is. So I will go to mid lane. Never mind. I guess I will not go to mid lane because there's... I guess I'll still go to mid lane, but there's not anything really happening over here. Drop another ward. Because wards win wars. Ooh. Help out, guys. I need help. Help. I need somebody. Help. Not just anybody. Yeah. Walk into his stupid little thingus. Jerk. That's right. You don't want none of this. Run away. Run away. Try and grab some of this uh, CXP here. Um, hmm. Come on, I want to shoot. Not you. You. That one, yes. Stun him. <laughs> oh. Come on, Greystone. Get him. Chase him off. Get that noob. Oh, and he's chasing him right into Grim. Wow, our entire team is collapsing on that Greystone. He's done. Alright, so now I finish out my Elysian Diamond. And, oh, left lane is looking a little hairball. So we'll just rotate on over there. We should actually attack Orb Prime. That's actually a pretty good idea. Come on. Uh, this guy is really good at running away. But I think that we will be able to stun him. Yeah. Oh. Nice. I'm on my way. We good. We good. It's okay. It's okay, buddy. Plus, the tower can defend itself. You know, it's a strong, you know, independent tower. It doesn't need no uh, heroes to guard it. Yeah. See? I'm here. It's okay. 
Hello, left lane. You look so good today. Just wipe out these minions. Boop. Thank you. Thanks for your CXP. Appreciate you. Sure, I'll go. I need help, though. I need help. Oh, for... I'm right here. It's okay. All right, all right. Oh. Is that Rampage? Let's just do a rock at me. Rampage. You old rascal. You rascal. Oh. We got Muriel with the... Uh, the speed boost. Uh oh, this is bad. This isn't good. This isn't good. This is bad. Help, 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 help. Execute him. Uh, wait, wait, wait. Where'd that rampage go to? Where is he? Oh, there was Sparrow right here. Um, Muriel, we're in a bit of a fight right now, girl. Oh. Oh, for man. He was so weak. I was gonna enjoy killing him. Okay, I'm on my way. If I group up. Get all this mmm. All this damage. Love it. Plus we are well warded. So I know uh right now. Ain't nobody gonna come after us. Oh, for why? Come on, come on, come on! Can you die? Will you die? Can you die? Will you die? Just die! Whew! Good job, guys. Okay, I will be right back. I can't help you. I have nothing. I have literally nothing to give. Uh, but what I do have is a very particular set of skills. Skills that uh, help me pay bills, actually. And also to equip this with some cast. Let's see. Who needs the most help? I don't think anybody really needs help. I'm on my way to mid lane, though, to help clear out these minions. Because that seems like a good thing to do. Boosh. Look at that. Done. Finit. But now I'll go to left lane. I'm going. I'm going. And I'm picking up that increased ability damage river buff. Hmm. We're going to do so much damage to this guy. He doesn't even know what's about to happen. He's just about to regret life. Yeah, run. Run, little noob. <laughs> he was just... <laughs> he was so hosed. Oh, man. That was great. So we'll just push this lane now. Because now they're down a man. They're down a guy. Look at that, man. There's so much damage on these minions. I freaking love it. Oh, spaced out. Totally missed that last hit. And we're just going to take this tower real fast. Don't mind me. I'm just here to uh, destroy your tower. Thanks. I'll go to mid lane, try and help out. Oh, never mind. I didn't need to help out at all. Oh, no. Guys, we need that tower. We need all of our towers. The more towers, the merrier. Don't worry, Muriel. You got a nice team all around you. We are here to help because we care about you. <laughs> we'll just take all that. Oh, that was their inhibitor. I thought that was a tower for a sec. Hmm. Good job, guys. I'm proud of us. We're doing so well. Pushing this tower or this lane up a lot. I'm just going to go ahead and do a little bit of that. Knock these guys up, slow them down. Uh, miss like four shots. Don't worry about it. It's fine. 
I mean, I know he's like point blank and everything, but you know, I <laughs> should be able to just hit a minion. Uh... Oh man, so what was I? Um, getting back to some of the changes. So abilities have been reduced in like how quickly they uh, they like cool down. So they cool down considerably faster now, uh, but they also cost much more mana, um, which is actually kind of nice because now everybody has a larger mana pool to draw from. That actually does make me as a Bellica player really happy um, because now like people that have larger mana pools can actually take more damage. They did sort of nerf her uh, a lot. Now uh, they did nerf her. Ooh, wait, that was me. <laughs> Take that nerd. Uh, they nerfed the base damage of her ultimate ability, Thingus. That's okay. Uh, I mean, everybody also has reduced health as well. Uh, normally, like, I would basically probably have something like 2,000 health, I think, as Bellica uh, at this point. But as you can see, I'm sitting on just under 14k. So. What you doing there, uh, how it's it? You know I can just shoot your core from outside of that, right? Outside of that range. You know, that's a thing. This is actually a relatively quick game as well. Uh, now that we've got all these super minions here, it's going to go much faster. Because their core is going down. Bum, 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 bum. Look at that. Well, there you go. There's actually a really quick match. Uh, that I know that there was a lot going on. I know that I was all over the place when it came to like talking about all the changes sorry about that it's <laughs> just so much to like, keep track of and everything again that was a bit of a faster game um, you know people are getting used to like the faster pace of the game so that's actually helping the games to proceed more quickly uh, I think like the first day of the map that monolith came out uh, matches were lasting around like 45 or so minutes but since then I mean times have continued to drop uh, very rarely are they now going past like 40 minutes basically uh, but yeah, I mean, honestly, like, Monolith is, like, a huge change to, uh, to Paragon. I mean, and, like, everything that came with it, all the ability changes, uh, card crafting now is awesome. It's just, you know, if you, if you played Paragon before and were kind of down on it, because, like, you know, games just took so long, and, like, people moved so slowly, and travel mode was sucky, and it, it, like, you know, and there was the RNG with the card system, it's all, like, that's all changed now. And, uh, like, I recommend giving it another shot. I mean, like, like I said, it's a whole new game. Um, all that stuff went out the window, you know, while you're on the freeway at, you know, 75 miles an hour. It was crazy. But, like, that's cool because we got this whole new game in front of us, which is rad. Uh, <laughs> again, sorry, like, I was all over the place when it came to talking about changes. Um, but in future videos, I'll keep talking about some more of the changes and everything. All the heroes got rebalanced and such. So all my past videos on Bellica and Gadget and Sparrow uh, and Iggy and Scorch, you know, they're all kind of irrelevant now. Um, yeah. But anyway, I hope that you guys enjoyed. If you did, hit that like button down below. Leave a comment. Say hey. Tell me what your favorite part of uh, the Monolith update is because there's a lot to love. And don't forget to subscribe to Subscriber. And I'll talk to you guys in the next one. Okay, thanks. Bye.